Welcome back to the garage, everybody. Today, we're going to be working on a quick, simple, fairly easy project that will hopefully give us big results out on the trail. I'm going to be installing the Terraflex Throttle Hand Control Kit, which is part number 4870402. That's the kit I went with. I got it off of Amazon around like 45 bucks. Fairly inexpensive for what this is gonna do. I'm going to be installing this kit on my 1994 YJ. Uh, this is actually my newest YJ. My original project YJ is still currently sitting here buried in junk, which I'm going to get back to. Don't worry. But if you guys haven't seen a couple of videos ago, I picked up this Jeep down in South Carolina. And if you have noticed, there's some slight changes, so we're gonna hit that here at the beginning. I did, uh, I wanted to make it my own, so I got some, a stripe up there, and as you guys can tell, the Jeep is half wrapped, and I did kind of my own take on a, like a vintage 90s style, kind of Islander, but not Islander theme, and I dig it. I think it turned out cool. It gives the Jeep a different look, and it is split, not down the middle, but kind of offset to the passenger side. And then the driver's side, I still have black at the moment. I'm actually going to repaint it with a nice fresh coat of black and then mirror the decals from that side to this side. I just haven't got around to it yet. But yes, the Jeep does look different. Let's get into installing this throttle, hand throttle kit and uh, see how it does. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what a hand throttle kit is, it is exactly as it sounds. So we have a bicycle gear select, which will be hooked to this cable, which will go through to our throttle body. And then once everything's hooked up, as you pull tension against the cable, it will open the throttle body and it will lock that into that position, keeping the throttle at a steady RPM, whether you want it set at 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 RPM. When you're off-roading and you're either trying to climb something and you need a, you know, you have three pedals, two feet, <clears throat> you need to be on the brakes, but you need to get on the gas, let out the clutch. This helps you give that throttle input so you can stay on the brakes and let the clutch out. And then another benefit of it too is if you're going over rocky terrain at a steady pace, and you're hitting rocks, your foot's bouncing on the throttle, making the Jeep or vehicle buck and get bouncy, and then you gotta stop and start again. This you'll be able to set at a at a certain pace and just kind of let it crawl and do its thing without having to worry about getting bucked around. Uh, a couple weekends ago, I actually took this out wheeling with the guys. I wanted to film and make a video, but unfortunately I didn't get a video out. I noticed I needed something to help control the throttle. The hand throttle is definitely going to be the ticket for that. There's a few other upgrades that I've come to find out that this Jeep needs uh, just to make it work a little bit better. And uh, that'll be addressed here and hopefully future videos very soon. Luckily, we're getting the whole group of guys back together tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, we're going to meet up and roll and take this back on the trail. I'm hoping to uh, now have a nice comparison of before and after with this hand throttle. And I have a feeling it's going to make a big difference. Jumping into the first step here, they supply this rubber bushing, which will sh slide over your shifter lever. And they undersize the hole. That way it's a tight fit for a bunch of different diameters of shift levers. So I just checked the AX-15 is much thicker. It's actually even thicker than this largest opening. So I'm going to open it up with a 3 8 drill bit first, and then we'll see where it goes from there. All right, the next step is you want to take off your shift knob, which is just screwed on, at least for the AX-15 it is. So just unscrew it till it comes off. Now we will take our drilled out bushing, which is still very, very tight. Okay, so I bumped the hole up to a half inch drill bit, which is still pretty tight. Now that the rubber bushing's on, we're going to slide our hand lever over the bushing. Before I tighten that down though, I'm going to put my shift knob on. 
Okay, just so I can see the height. Let's bring that up a bit. On the shifter, there, thumb can reach. I can go all the way around, which I doubt I'll ever go this far. Hopefully, the cable is tensioned properly. I only need to go to like there, but it's easy enough for me to shift and hit with my thumb and push with my finger. So cool. All right, now let's get the cable run down and to the throttle body. Alrighty, so here's our throttle body. This is where we're going to attach our cable. My Jeep does not have cruise control, so that means that this throttle cable bracket here has an empty hole, and I'm gonna to try to utilize this hole to bring the cable through to mount here. Next is uh, we have our cable, which has this rounded fixed end, and then the other end has nothing on it. So we're gonna take that, the end that has nothing, and route it down through. I said through. Come on, little fella. Through the body and out the other end. And then just pull that until the end with the solid round cap rests nicely in that hole. Now we'll take the end that has nothing on it and our wire sheath and feed it through and run the sheath all the way up to the lever. The sheath is not as long as the wire, but that's okay because once this wire is up in the throttle body, it'll get trimmed and whatnot. So the sheath needs to go down through the shift boot, and if you had a center console, it would go under the center console and through the firewall there. I unfortunately don't have a center console, so you'll see my cable running from the boot to the firewall, but oh well. There's a grommet right there. The main wiring harness goes through. I'm going to drill a hole at the top side of that grommet, and that should come out right here and then from there i can run the cable around to the throttle body i use the small nut which is an eight millimeter large nut 10 millimeter Big supplied washer, slightly smaller supplied washer, 10 millimeter nut. Then on this side of the bracket, big supplied washer, smaller supplied washer, smaller eight millimeter nut, and then the uh, banjo bolt that the cable comes through. So, through the firewall to the factory bracket, opening of the factory bracket. Again, if your Jeep has the cruise control, you'll have a cable here, so you'll have to either drill here or here and add that extra bracket in, but luckily for me, I'll keep it easy that way. So now, all that's left is to attach the cable to the throttle body. I'm gonna add something. I'm taking a piece of heat shrink and putting it on the cable, and then I added the uh, cable gland or whatever. I don't know what this is called. Oh, I'm pretty dumb. Uh, so. Added that on with this guy right now. As you can see, there's gonna be a lot of excess. So, created the loop in the cable to go around the throttle body there. Cinch that guy up. All right, crimped that. There's a little bit of play. Now we have all this excess, so we get to trim that, and then my little piece of heat shrink I put there for the reason. So once we trim it, I'll be able to uh, kind of tidy it up and keep that end nice and neat. 
Take that. And the heat shrink gives it a nice kind of professional look on the end there. Last step is a little retaining clip that'll sit right there to help keep that wire from popping off, but I have it pretty cinched, so it shouldn't pop off. All right, now that's all that's left is to uh, take it for a quick spin. But first, so we're in neutral. It's currently sitting at about 1,000 RPMs. We're going to there we're about like four or five clicks up and one more click bumps us to about 1500 rpms four clicks takes that slack out the fifth click we're bumping a little bit and then from there on Seems like she works. Nothing on the pedal. And we're moving. And then I go faster, crank it up on the pedal. Here we go. She works. I'll take it. All right, ladies and gents, she's officially loaded and ready to go wheeling tomorrow. So with that, I will see you guys in the morning and we'll get to test out that hand throttle for real instead of just on a flat driveway. So have a good night, see you in the morning. We are on the way to meet the guys and then we're gonna head up the Roush Creek. It is 10 after six and 22 degrees. So it's gonna be a chilly day, so. Thanks for sticking along. Let's get some wheeling in. We are on the trail. Um, so far, uh, just a little bit that I've used the hand throttle, it is working great. So I've gotten over like two obstacles already that I didn't know how I was going to do and it, it worked great. So I, I'm a big fan of the hand throttle already, but we'll see how the rest of the day goes. We have a fairly large group today, 10 rigs. So again, it's going to be hard to film just like the last time, but I'll do what I can and uh, keep you guys updated throughout the day. But so far, hand throttle well worth the money. All right, we're going to keep going. Don't know if the YJ is going to go over that thing. Hell yeah! Your tail lights against the tree! Light just popped out. It's a party today. Uh, again, it's really hard for me to get a lot of uh, wheeling clips just because we have a, such a large group and we just haven't stopped at all. Constantly moving, but it's a good thing. Uh, I guess next update on the uh, hand throttle. Loving it more and more. 
the whole uh, trails down here. I just used it pretty much as a cruise control over the rocks, and it was freaking awesome. So, uh, get uh, back to it, and we're gonna work our way up this. I don't think I'm doing any of those super steep climbs. I'm gonna stay down there. Cause I'm a chicken. We've been only doing like blacks and reds and uh, this Jeep needs some upgrades before I can do these very confidently. But the last one, the hand throttle helped. Still got to get used to it, like at steep inclines. So unfortunately I had to winch that. Uh, I don't know if anybody got any footage of me going, but I dented the cowl and broke the driver rear tail light and broke off one of the light pods. So it was a good obstacle. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I can get um, one of the guys to get some uh, shots of this on the outside so you guys just don't see my face for this whole wheelie day. But things are going well. Jeep's working. I would say so far my only critique on uh, the hand throttle is that it seems, even though I have it really tight around that rubber bushing, it seems like it still flexes on the rubber bushing. I'm sure I can figure out something to make it a little bit more sturdy on the shift lever, but other than that, it's doing good. All right, I'll shut up now. Here we go. I say, he's, yeah, stay right there. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it on camera. Oh, it's 
the last trail of the day we're heading back it's getting dark quick uh i don't think i got any footage or i don't think anybody got any footage of me wheeling this but um it was a good day and i freaking love the hand throttle so if you're thinking about it and if you have manual transmission i say 100 percent go for it because it's well worth it we're all loaded up uh, it's getting dark quick, so uh, I will see you guys in the morning and I'll close out this video. So stay tuned and thank you for sticking along. It was a fun day, great day. Good night guys, see you in the morning. Good morning, bright and early, super chilly out. But what a good day of wheeling yesterday. Uh, the Jeep did well, as I stated. Here's, there's some bruises, so the, uh, Taillight has seen better days. I think I got a couple extra little dents back there, but that taillight survived. As you can tell, that one's actually recessed because that was a project I was working on. Didn't get to the driver's side, and now you can see why. Uh, over here, there's a nice fresh dent into the cowl, and my pod light is hanging there, and it's seen better days as well. Overall, Jeep did good. So with that, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking along to the end. I hope you enjoyed the install plus the wheeling con content. Got some more projects for that. Definitely got some more content coming up on the other YJ build. We're going to take that to a whole new level and a slightly different direction. So it'll be fun. Stay tuned. 
Thank you for joining me and you guys have a great day.